So I know I'm a little late to the party on this one. In fact, I'm about a month late. Uh, and to be honest, when everything, when all of this started happening, I really just didn't pay a whole lot of attention to it. And I should have, but I get really sick and tired of watching mainstream media and everyone else condemn and crucify pastors, churches, and Christians for things that they do that are wrong. And the reason I get sick and tired for it is because we're just people, just the same as anybody else. Yes, we are held to a higher standard, so I do believe that we should try to uphold that higher standard, but at the end of the day, we're still humans, and we do things that maybe we shouldn't do. So what I'm referring to here is what happened with Matt Chandler at the Village Church. And I'm not going to go into any speculation. Um, we don't know all of the facts. The only people that know the facts are God, Matt Chandler, the woman that he was having a conversation with, and probably the board on the church, the deacons of, or the elders of the church, which seems as though they are handling it just fine. They're doing their job. And handling this situation and so there's no reason to add speculation or um, beliefs false pretenses or anything like that into the situation all I can say is we don't know I don't know you don't know unless you were there unless you were involved in the text messages that were being sent back and forth we don't really know but what I am here to say is this we as a church as Christians have to stop crucifying other Christians for things that they do wrong. And we need to stop crucifying our pastors when they make a mistake and do something wrong and realize that they are just people. We need to stop putting them on a pedestal. They are no different than you and I. They, the only difference is maybe in their education, in the Bible, in theology, the amount of hours that they have spent studying and reading. Those are the only differences. Otherwise, they were, we're all descendants of Adam and we all have a sinful nature and we all make mistakes and we do things wrong. So we need to stop putting our pastors, our leaders of the church and other Christians on a pedestal and realize that we are all just humans. Yes, we are held to a higher standard. We are held to uphold God's standard, which is perfection, which we can't do because we're not perfect and we're never going to be perfect. But we're held to, God holds us to a standard and we're held to that standard and we need to try to follow it. But at the end of the day, we are still uh, humans and we're going to make mistakes. We're still sinners, regardless of what some people believe. They say, well, you're no longer a sinner. You are a sinner until you are in heaven. You might be born again, you might be redeemed, and you might not be the old person that you were when you were living in your sin. And we all do the best that we can to not sin, but you are still going to sin. And that is just a fact. That is a way of life, no matter how perfect you try to be. So, instead of putting our pastors, our leaders, our church leaders on a pedestal and and holding them to a higher standard than we hold our, uh, ourselves. What I think we need to be doing is we need to be praying for our pastors and for our leaders, that they will have good, godly, righteous discernment and make the right decisions because they can fall just as easily as, as you and I can fall. And it is literally that easy. And no matter what we do, the world is still going to condemn us. They're going to crucify us because they're going to say, oh, look at those Christians. They did this. They, they're supposed to be held to a higher standard. They're supposed to be godly. They're supposed to be Christian and, and, and look at what they did. But when Christians do that to themselves, then that's when we have a, a, an even bigger problem. And I have said this before. The Christian army is the world's largest army. It is also the only army that will slaughter itself <clears throat> in battle, that will fight with itself in battle. And, and that's something that needs to stop. We need to...
pray for one another. We need to pray for our pastors. We need to lift each other up. We need to just be there and support one another. And when things happen, we need to pray for that person. And we need to pray for that church. So I guess I'm going to say this. To the village church, to Pastor Matt Chandler, I'm just going to pray for you. No judgment. I don't know what happened. I don't need to judge you. Because if there was something inappropriate that happened, God is going to judge you. So we don't need to do that. But what we do need to do, what I am going to do, is I'm going to pray for this pastor. I'm going to pray for his family. Because imagine the turmoil that they're going through right now because of what may or may not have been innocent actions. We don't know the context or the content of these messages. He had said that they were familiar. But what does that really mean? what was actually in these text messages. And we'll never know. We don't need to know. But imagine what this is doing to this man's family. And it's not our job to judge him and to convict him. It is our job, however, to lift him up in prayer. It's our job to lift, lift other Christians, all Christians, whether you agree with them on certain theological aspects or not. As long as it is not a salvation issue, as, not as, as long as it is not a belief that teaches you something that is, uh, goes against what the Bible says about salvation, then it's a non-salvation issue and we need to be praying and supporting those Christians and lifting each other up. If there is an issue of salvation, then we need to pray for that person that the Lord will speak to them and fill them and show them the truth and not lies. So we need to, again, just pray for each other, pray for your church, pray for the churches around the world, pray for the pastors, pray for your pastor, the pastors in your church, pray for the other pastors, pray for this pastor. We live in a, a time where there's going to be um, attacks from Satan, and they're going to become more and more frequently. And we all need to be lifted up to God. And we have to stop being the army that kills its own self. That attacks itself. And we have to start being the army that stands up for one another. And protects and defends one another. So that's what I've got to say about this. There's no judgment. We don't know the truth. We don't know all the facts. All we can do is we can pray. And that's all we should be doing. We shouldn't be out there slandering this man without knowing the facts. Because at that point, all it is is wild and gross accusations and slander and lies. So until next time, New Thirst will be coming up this weekend. On Sundays, I'm sure I'll have a couple more videos out this week as long as I'm not working because the weather is rainy and nasty and it's really hard to do yard work in the rain. I'll have time to make up some more videos. Um, if you enjoyed this video, if you liked this video, even if you didn't, um, I ask that you subscribe, leave some comments, share them. Let's spread this. Let's spread the word of God. That's what this channel is all about. So until next time, have a great day. Be blessed and stay in God's word.